clothes long long ago people wore animal skins for clothes today we wear clothes made of cotton silk wool and nylon clothes are of different types and are made in different ways the cotton plants have fruits or cotton balls which burst open the fluffy cotton inside these balls is picked out it has thin threads or fibers in it they are twisted by weavers or spun to make long threads These cotton threads are woven together to make cloth. The weaving of the threads is done on a machine called loom. The people who weave clothes are called weavers. After weaving, the cloth may be colored or dyed. Silk clothes are made from the saliva of an insect called silkworm. When the silkworm is in the pupa stage, it secretes saliva and builds a cocoon around itself. These pupae are heated in boiling water and the worms inside are killed. silk thread is obtained from pupae then the threads are dyed and cloth is prepared woolen clothes are made in a similar manner except that the thread is prepared from the wool of sheep woolen clothes keep us warm naphthalene balls and dried leaves of neem keep insects away from the clothes Nylon and terulene are synthetic fibers prepared from carbon compounds. Correct. Correct. Fantastic. Correct. Excellent. Correct.
correct. Correct. Excellent. Correct. Correct. Fantastic. Correct. Excellent. Correct. house should be clean and airy with windows and ventilators. Sunlight and fresh air keep the rooms dry and free from germs. A good house should have separate place for eating, sleeping, studying, cooking, washing and storage. A good house should have an open space for sitting out and for the children to play. It should have bolts on the doors and windows and locks on the cupboards. A good house should have proper drains to take away dirty water from the kitchen and bathrooms. It should have proper chimneys to let the smoke out. To keep our houses clean, we should keep our surroundings also clean. If our surroundings have garbage, they attract flies and germs which cause diseases. We should not throw our garbage around and make the surroundings dirty. The household garbage should be kept in closed dustbins. These dustbins should be taken to municipal bins or garbage dumps. Municipal trucks will carry this garbage away from the city. We should not let wastewater to flow into open space and stagnate it near the houses. Mosquitoes breed in stagnated water and cause malaria. We should dispose wastewater through drains. We should spray kerosene on stagnated water to kill mosquitoes. We should have proper sanitary latrine system in our houses. It is preferable to have flush system in these latrines. If we are keeping any domestic animals 
then those tables and sheds should be kept clean from dirt and germs. They should be frequently cleaned with phenol. We should never spit in the open. It is a bad habit. Spitting in open attracts flies and makes our surroundings dirty. Correct! Correct! Fantastic! Correct! Excellent! Correct! 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 Excellent! Correct! Correct! Fantastic! Correct! Excellent! Correct! Occasions and festivals. Joys of festivals. A festival is a day or period of celebration. It brings us joy and happiness. There are many kinds of festivals. They are social, regional, national and religious festivals. Some of the most popular festivals are Dashara, Diwali, Eid and Christmas. Festivals bring us joy and happiness and add a new color to our life. During festivals, people wear new clothes, decorate their homes, visit their near and dear ones, congratulate each other, offer gifts and they sing and dance with joy. National festivals National festivals are days which are celebrated for their special importance in the history of a nation. In our country, we have the following national festivals. Independence Day, 15th of August. Republic Day, 
26 January, Gandhi Jayanti, 2nd October, Children's Day, 14th November, and Teacher's Day on the 5th of September. Our Festivals A festival is a day of celebrating an important event. It is a time for fun and joy. Festivals are mainly of three kinds. They are national festivals, religious festivals and harvest festivals. Some of the national festivals are Independence Day, Republic Day and Gandhi Jayanti. Religious festivals are important to people from different religions. The most popular religious festivals are Diwali, Holi, Dasara, Eid and Christmas. Harvest is a time when crops are ready for cutting and gathering. The harvest festivals are Bihu celebrated in Assam, Pongal in Tamil Nadu, Onam in Kerala and Baisakhi in Punjab. Correct. Fantastic! Correct! Excellent! Correct. 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 Excellent. Correct. Fantastic.
correct. Excellent. Correct. <laughs>